10 Famous People Who Ruined Their Career Some celebrities live in a world of perceived reality where societal norms and common laws don't apply. Such a famed life can lead to instances where scandals or poor choices kill their once promising careers. O.J. Simpson comes to mind. So does Charlie Sheen. Surely there are countless others who've tanked their careers in a matter of minutes. It's even easier for celebrities to go off track thanks to social media. But so many other prominent figures have managed to destroy their reputation, chance at fame, and fortune a long time ago. These 10 famous people have proven that crashing and burning takes only seconds, no matter how famous you become. Welcome to Volo Media. Before we continue, please click on the subscribe button under this video and you can also click on the bell icon so that you can be notified anytime we have great videos such as this. Number 10 is Amanda Bynes. My name is Daphne Reynolds. I'm Libby's daughter. According to this, I'm your daughter too. Yet another unfortunate Twitter saga is to blame for tanking Amanda Bynes' acting career. To be fair, it was already spiraling when she announced her retirement on Twitter at the ripe age of 24, but time would prove that her volatile Twitter account was merely a reflection of her unstable personal life. She basically lived, tweeted her fall from grace as she verbally attacked celebrities online and erratically underwent rehab stints, DUI arrests, and other career-ending meltdowns. Needless to say, Bynes' social tirade has her enjoying the private life from here on out. Number 9 is Ashley Simpson. Ashley Simpson, the younger sister of Jessica Simpson, released an album in 2004 called Autobiography, and it was enough to land her a performing slot on Saturday Night Live. Of course, Simpson was caught limp syncing when the wrong song began playing over the speakers. On a Monday, I'm waiting Tuesday. She panicked, ran off stage, and proceeded to blame her band for playing the wrong song, before confessing to lip syncing a few days later. Acid reflux or not, this flub ruined her only shot at fame and her career went down in flames before it ever even began. An unfortunately live TV disaster. Number 8 is Mariah Carey. Live TV can be a singer's mortal enemy, especially when your career is founded on lip syncing performances and fancy pyrotechnics. Mariah Carey has been a regular on seasonal TV specials like the New Year's Eve show, but it's likely that will end post-2017. Millions watched as she botched her song Emotions when her in-ear audio stopped working. Mariah stood frozen for a moment, then angrily walked off stage. Mortified, Carrie is of the belief she was set up by producers, according to media statements. Either way, that was horrific endeavor was probably her last primetime performance. A celebrity career that, mysteriously, never dies. Number seven is Kanye West. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Talk. Now everybody's trying to try. I give a how much you sold. If you playing on radio. Kanye's career must have nine lives. The man manages to kill his career with controversial tweets and statements on a seemingly daily basis. Jumping the stage during Taylor Swift's VMA speech, professing his love for Donald Trump, yelling at disabled crowd members. It's all wacky. Despite the fact that his actions never actually kill his career. In fact, some would say Kanye only makes controversial statements when he has an album to promote. Down goes yet another pro athlete. Number six is Lance Armstrong. You know it's bad when seven Tour de France titles and a heroic battle with cancer can't even save your career amidst drug allegations. Former professional cyclist Lance Armstrong's career went down in flames once evidence serviced involving him in one of the most brutal and comprehensive doping allegations ever. Armstrong continually denied the charges, but former teammates eventually testified confirming his usage in 2012. Lance was stripped of all titles and Olympic records barely to be seen or heard from ever again. Your past will haunt you. Number 5 is Paula Deen. Paula Deen's face was all over Food Network for years. Then Lisa Jackson filed a lawsuit against the celebrity chef icon, claiming she made racist statements toward African Americans and used the N-word. Dean's confirmation over using the word and responses to the accusations such as, It's just what they are. They're jokes. Most jokes are about Jewish people, rednecks, black folks. I can't determine what offends another person. Sealed her fate. Networks cancelled her TV programs far and wide and stores stopped selling her products. Where is Paula Dean now? Not on TV. 
that's for sure. A man who can't escape his demons from 2009. Number four is Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods' sprawling golf career came to a screeching halt in 2009 when more than a dozen women stepped forward claiming to have had had extramarital affairs with Woods. His media-fueled cheating scandal got ugly fast. He crashed his Escalade into a tree in his own front yard and pushed an embellished domestic abuse story before finally confessing to cheating in a televised statement. Sponsors immediately cut ties and the history maker was out of tens of millions of dollars almost overnight. Luckily, mulligans are a thing in the golf community and Tiger was given a second chance to play. But his pro tour finishes are nothing like they used to be and most would consider his glory days behind him. Singers who got political. Number three is the Dixie Chicks. The Dixie Chicks once enjoyed chart-topping success as the leading ladies of country music. Their music even crossed into pop genres. That is, until lead singer Natalie Maines bashed President George W. Bush during a live concert in 2002. Her comments, just so you know, we're on the good side with y'all. We do not want this war, this violence, and we're ashamed that the President of the United States is from Texas. Outraged, their most loyal fans and the trio never recovered. Radio stations boycotted their tracks, and the country music industry all but shunned them. No apologetic comeback album could save them, despite their best efforts. A news reporter misremembers. Number two is Brian Williams. Broadcasters spewing fake news is nothing new, but when it was reported that NBC host anchor Brian Williams had embellished on air a story about his coverage of the Iraq invasion in 2015, the network launched an investigation. The research discovered blatant lies surrounding a helicopter crash in Iraq, as well as several other instances throughout his entire career where the host misled the public to boost his reputation. NBC cut ties and Williams' anchor career fizzled almost immediately. He landed a spot hosting a new nighttime show at the ungodly hour of 11 p.m. years later, though he's far from the household name he once was. Number one is Anthony Weiner. Twitter can be dangerous for those who don't know how to tweet properly. Case in point, Congressman Anthony Weiner. As the youngest person to ever win a New York City Council seat, Weiner's career could have taken a different path had he not accidentally posted a picture to his Twitter wall meant for a woman he was sexting online. Whoops. At first he claimed his account was hacked, but liars never prosper, and Weiner ultimately resigned from Congress in 2011 after admitting he'd been exchanging photos with the woman for years. Hope you've liked the video. Comment down below your thoughts on these famous people. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day ahead.